Welcome to an 80s throwback episode, not another conspiracy podcast. Right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Shut up. Dude. Everyone ready? Cool story. Without the first, we definitely won't be the last. We'd like to welcome you. Gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Not Another Conspiracy Podcast. I think it's episode seven or eight. I can't count, so I'll say yes. Seven. Episode seven. It's episode, episode seven. seven. Episode Lucky. seven. Lucky number seven. It's quite an achievement uh, for us. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah, getting us all three of us in the same place seven times in <clears throat> nine weeks has been... Yep. During that's a pandemic, been an, nice. an achievement. Well, that's the easy. That's why it's been easy because it's been yeah. a pandemic. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, because the world's ending. The world is ending, and uh, I think we have Q to thank for all of the information that has led us to this moment. <laughs> Q. What, so Q. Today, Q. Today, uh, Q. So Q. in uh, Michigan, Mr. Dean Salter. Hola. Como esta? In York. <laughs> there we go. Waving down at JJ there. There we go. In York. <laughs> from an iPad. Well, we're watching him in an iPad, but I think you guys can see him on the proper camera. He's in a simulation. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. Live from the simulation in York, it's Mr. JJ Jackson. How you doing, mate? Hello. Hello. So, so oh, cool. my laptop's starting now. Brilliant. Hey. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect timing. It's oh, fine. Shit. Just use the yeah, iPad, it's mate. fine. I'll just do that. And Fine. then me in South End on Sea in Essex is Ben Mills. How, yeah. how is everyone? Ho, 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 doing ho, all right. Ho. Doing all right. Absolutely doing all right. shattered from work, boiling up, coming up, like off of a small holiday in California. You know how it is. You come back from holiday and you're like, oh man, life. Doesn't mm. life suck? <laughs> it's not been able to go on holiday this year because I've been stuck in my house. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, there's that. So. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll feel grateful for the opportunity yeah. that I had. I had to cancel my trip to Alicante. Congratulations, Dustin, as well. He's a listener. It was for his, for his and his missus, missus is Melissa. It was their wedding. So yeah, congratulations to them both. Dustin's in the, uh, he's in the Discord, uh, and he watches the show. Hi, Dustin. Oh, yeah. I mean, the, the thing Dustin. is. Thing is, Dean, like it's fine for you because like you go on holiday in your country and it's like being in a different, completely different world. Yeah. Me and yeah. me and Ben get Scarborough and Blackpool or wherever the fuck. <laughs> Mate, I mean, I Ben live, lives on the seaside. I, <laughs> I, I can or go, you to, go to Cornwall. Canby Island. Can go yeah. Canby Island. Nah, no, fuck that. <laughs> Forney oh. Bay. You got a Forney Bay caravan site. See oh. what? <laughs> oh, oh. Fucking hell. Do you remember when John Lydon was on? Um, celebrity get me out of here and he actually sat there and said he was like oh our holidays when I was a kid were great we used to go to Canvey Island <laughs> I remember watching yeah. it with my dad and being like fucking hell your holidays were great what yeah. <laughs> you used to Island all the time loved it Poor yeah bastard. but he's a, he's a knob though isn't he so. I was going to say no wonder he turned out the way he is such a knob <laughs> Even though he said something, didn't he, in the seventies about he was like one of the first people to know out. about, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jimmy Savile, didn't they? Yeah. Jimmy Savile, yeah. We're all I think everyone was thinking it, weren't they? Everyone, everyone was thinking well, there it. Was, there was a Scot. I remember someone sharing on Reddit ages ago. There was a Scottish uh, comedian, and I can't remember what his name was. He didn't really take off massively. He wasn't like a household name, but they there was like a clip of. Um, this guy on stage sitting there saying to the audience was like, Jimmy Savile, nonce, touch his kids. And everyone in the audience was like proper heckling the fuck out of him because he said it. And he they was like, him, I'm telling they? you now, in years to come, it will come out. He's a nonce. And when it all did come out, there was an interview with him in like one of some fucking paper. I don't know what some it was. Rag, yeah. Yeah, but again, that was another person that said it like 25 or 30 odd years ago, or however many. Apparently, everyone knew. Like it wasn't like a uh, it wasn't a secret in like those circles, but obviously didn't have the internet at that time, so right. no one but could come you... really come forward because he was like everyone loved Savile, and he was probably right. helping what... them get there. He was a feeder, wasn't he? He was like a yeah. he used to round them up for him. And what gets me is after that all came out, everyone was like, you know what? He does look a bit of a wrong'un. And it's like you think, yeah. <laughs> like, who went? 
Dictionary definition. Then, ever, image everyone's always like, don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> right, but I remember... But in that case, definitely judge a book by its cover. <laughs> a, guy, a guy wearing, like, extra extravagant clothing. <laughs> Speaking about extra extravagant clothing... OG socks, hey, colourful socks, socks, not for paedophiles, not for paedophiles. <laughs> OGsocks.co.uk I mean, they're a business, they're not excluding paedophiles, I, I think they'd probably prefer no paedophiles, but... Uh, NAC for 20% off, go check them out, OGsocks.co.uk Thank you, OG Socks. You debar, back to me. Back to Jimmy Savile, I thought I'd just quickly segue into that one, <laughs> while I fix my computer. <laughs> I'm not saying that Jimmy Savile would wear... OG socks, I, but I would say he would be getting twenty percent off with our promo code NAC. Yeah, yeah. they're a new um, business, like I say. They don't exclude. They, they can't just go around excluding all the wrong ones, can you? Well, judging Especially by sweet the amount of money. documentaries dead celebrities were making about paedophiles, there oh, must yeah. be a lot of them. Mm. Did you know Paul Walker had the the script for a child abduction documentary in the car? At that moment, <laughs> that he was travelling 500 to blow miles up. an hour in. The car yeah, had, to, had blow to blow up. I'm so surprised that they haven't brought Ryan Dunn into this yet. I'm surprised. Ryan Dunn had a ch child Ch abduction Ch charity and <laughs> Chadwick Boseman <laughs> was. Uh... Oh, don't bless him. Wakanda forever. Come on, come on. What a hero? Wakanda. Right, Wakanda hang, hang on a second. So this. So are we? We're talking like loosely about Q right now, aren't we? Like I now. Don't know. Today, God of, yeah. so I saw I saw Maybe this thing this morning. I saw this meme this morning. Just for everyone who's watching at home, I'm looking downwards because my computer's buggered. So just ignore that. So if you can't <laughs> actually see my eyes, because I've just realised it's going to be like this. Um, <laughs> yeah. So somebody somebody put something up about Chadwick Boseman cleaning some graffiti for uh, for White Light or Black Lives Matter campaign. But then QAnon put some not QAnon, but one of the crazy followers. Put up just for all those who remember Chadwick Boseman cleaning graffiti for Black Lives Matter. Here's a picture of Charles Manson playing guitar in a church. I was like, "Are you trying to say that he was it's just so faking?" <laughs> yeah, Chadwick Boseman was just cleaning up some graffiti, and Charles Manson was actually a great Samaritan. I was just like, just "I don't get it." <laughs> <laughs> but it's really good. He looks like really like nice and playing guitar, and I was like. You but know, yeah, I'll try. I'll try and root that out later that's a, on. It's that's fucking a, that's weird. Take away. Well, yeah. That, that brings us to what this episode was going to be about, which is listener theories. So people from our Discord put in some amazing and left field conspiracy theories in our chat, <clears throat> uh, Thank in you. our Discord, which you should sign up for if you've not already signed up for. Uh, the link is in the yes. description. Yes. Um, but Charlie Manson, being uh, an MK Ultra. Um, Fucking hell! In there. That, no way you just pulled that out. Yeah. I've literally just cut. I've been listening to the Joe Rogan and Duncan Trussell podcast like all day at work, yeah. and I've stopped it at that moment where they're talking about the MK Ultra experiments and Mate. that Duncan Trussell's sitting again. Charles Manson was in it, man, and it was there's some guy wrote a book because he had been researching yeah. Charles yeah. Manson. That's that's fucking an episode. Weird. He that's just, he just episode. he'd just been on um he'd just been on Joe Rogan, the guy who wrote the book. Oh yeah, what's his name? Yeah. Can you remember? Um, I can find I out. To, I need to listen Mr. to that episode. Mr. K I'll find that. Ultra. Yeah, uh, Michael Keaton Ultra. <laughs> Batman two point zero. Batman two point zero. Oh, be like fucking 15, hell! Fifteen point zero, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Well, apparently he's going to be in the new Flash film. He's going to be Michael Keaton yeah, he's doing the multiverse. <laughs> What the fuck? Um, Sorry, yeah, so I'm just digressing here. We should definitely do an MK Ultra episode. Uh, yeah, we will. I think. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, I I think a lot a lot of people that um, did some crazy stuff were probably MK Ultra agents or something to do with like. Well, there was like that. that. Uh, there was that. Um, what was the uh, the code name for that operation where they were lace? They had cr the CIA had created brothels, and they were dragging people into brothels and like spiking them with LSD, and they were sitting behind like glass windows, and like wasn't it like Crimson Moon or something like that? Midnight Climax. Midnight Climax. Midnight Climax. 
That's it. It's just not a very good name for an operation, is it? Like, it's basically explaining what it is. Right. It's like... It's midnight really obvious, ejaculation. It? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're we're going to bring my kids with podcasts. What should we yeah. call them? Ejaculation Internet talkings. Yeah. Ejaculation <laughs> sounds a bit obvious, boys. See? Uh, we want to change it to... Uh, what's another word like that? Do you know, Jimmy? Hold on. Let's go in the Scrabble uh, bag again. <laughs> the wife's always talking about something called a climax. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking maybe Project Clitoris. What do you think, boys? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one's ever seen one. No one's ever heard of one. It's a mystery. Whatever. That character, man. I love that character. <laughs> if, someone, if someone asked me who, what my favorite cartoon character ever or character ever it's was, Columbo, it'd just it? be that guy. <laughs> that guy that's in every like 30s, 40s based movie that's really inconspicuous and has Is a cigar. in Home Alone like as hockey. well. Oh, oh I believe yeah. it, but my tummy gun don't. No. <laughs> that guy, yeah, he's very, yeah. Keep the change, you filthy that, animal. It's, <laughs> yeah. that guy, it's that guy's son. Keep the it's that guy's filthy son. <laughs> You've been sleep. You've been smooching with my best friend Bozo. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever it's called. I give you five seconds. I, I you this five is the worst seconds. paraphrasing ever. <laughs> <laughs> I, give you, I give you 52 seconds to get your sticky little... You're no good piece of out of my sight. <laughs> midnight Did... Climax. Like, um, oh, it's just... Operation Midnight Climax. You heard it. Just... Was... Surely when that operation started going forward and, I don't know, they ended up, well, they were going ahead with it. Surely someone at one point has sat there and been like, I think we're going to get rumbled with this one, boys. This is fucking bad. Like, Midnight, doing it at night, brothels, Climax, ejaculation. Shut up, Coming. Jimmy. Huh? <laughs> we hired you to shut up. You're not paid to talk. Human. <laughs> Midnight coming. Um, yeah. Um, just quickly, while we're on the Home Alone thing, just uh, just to throw that out there. Have you seen that there's a petition to get Macaulay Culkin to play himself in the reboot as him as a child? But him himself. So a He's full blown now, adult well. version of Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, there's, uh, there's a petition and he said, he's, he's quoted, if the petition gets signed, I'll do it. <laughs> so I, love I know we haven't got like thousands him. of listeners, but everybody who is listening, the please go and sign the petition. The weirdest movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just playing himself, but four years later, but as a child, unbelievable. I love it. Somebody's uh, somebody's what's it called? It deep faked it already. Really? So they put oh, his face Christ. on the young version of him. Have you so on the subject of conspiracies and Macaulay Culkin? Um, and as we're not really got any real topic Main today, subject, yeah. What do you guys think about Culkin saying that Jackson never touched him? That's an interesting take. I think if I was Jackson and I wanted to keep it a secret, I'd keep one fresh, like, kid that was famous that Ugh, said, fresh. well, he never touched me and look how sexy I am. I'm a cool as Culkin. <laughs> You'd be well, like, well... well that he, I would he, say, he, keep one clean so you can go, well, look, Culkin. Yeah. Never touched but, him. And, and, like, and as well, he's he's shagged uh, Myla? Mila? Mila Kunis. Do you know what I mean? Really? So he's. I mean, yeah. he says he has. Well, they were dating. He said, bit, I mean, so did, I'm did sure, you see him I'm on sure Joe Rogan? Rogan? Yeah, he was yes. weird, man. He hadn't, he hadn't shagged anybody, let's be honest. <laughs> he's... Except for Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He put his dick down Michael Jackson's dick. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson. Michael he Jackson space died. docked him. Oh God. I've missed My, uh, actually, boys. Michael Fuck never yeah. touched me. I touched oh. Michael. He's Did like. He wasn't it? Well, getting t like to the. I, yeah, I think you're <laughs> right there in actual fact. Then I've never looked at it in the sense of that. Well, I've never thought to myself, "Oh, I might need a clean child or a fresh one." Like, <laughs> Got to keep so him fresh. Keep right. him fresh. <laughs> but that's. When it's you, called welfare. When you think about it, that would be what a sociopath would do. Would like they would keep that one person that's it's able like an to alibi. Well, I've not it, done anything you know to you, have I, Michael? Well, no, you haven't. I What's think this guy that... talking about he stuck your dick in his ear like, four yeah. times or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I think with that one though, he can't bribe. He couldn't bribe Macaulay Culkin, no. could he? Because no, Macaulay Culkin why, was so rich as fuck, so. Right. So like yeah. all, all the other ones, he just bought out, and then like all the Mexican house staff, he just paid them off. Yeah. Like right, he probably yeah. he probably give him an extra day's wage. <laughs> probably just said, and "He's like, don't and don't worry, making my bed today, guys. Uh, let, let, take the rest of the day off." 
it's, and they're all just like, uh, oh, thank novel. you, Mr. Jackson. Thank you, Mr. Jackson. <laughs> you're just ignorant. Just ignorant. <laughs> yeah, ignorant. I genuinely, th- yeah, I think you're right as well, saying he couldn't buy off McCaul- Macaulay Culkin. And as, and as well, considering the two in the documentary about escaping Neverland, the two of those <laughs> that uh, accused were accused him of touching like them and whatnot about sorry look at licking their assholes the yeah and, and stuff like that macaulay culkin had already divorced his parents i think and their parents both those children or their dads ended up killing themselves so yeah. macaulay didn't like his parents anyway so michael couldn't have done anything with that and been like oh mm. shit yeah their parents can't kill themselves because macaulay doesn't talk to his so there's that outlet too shit. yeah is he re- is he like friends with his parents again does anyone know I don't know, but I was hoping. Because do you do any of you boys uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel Cinemassacre or the Angry Video Game Nerd? No, uh, I used to watch you, that you guy. Know who He's uh, they do like movie reviews on Cinemassacre. You should subscribe to them. They're fantastic content that uh, that he does. But the guy who's, who, who's the um, character of Angry Video Game Nerd, he had Macaulay Culkin on uh, their channel a couple of times when they were reviewing. Um, the Home Alone games, like the early NES games, and then they brought because everybody was just like, he's, he's actually fucking cool. Everyone was like expecting him to be like super, super weird because of being the the what was it like the the poster child of uh, what's wrong with uh, being famous as a child. But he actually turned out sort of like quite normal to a degree. He and he is in- he's horrendous on Joe Rogan. Right. Like, well, yeah, that's kind of what perplexed me a little bit because everyone was like he, he's actually really kind of i was expecting him to be all messed up and blah 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 after jackson getting hold of him and blah 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 but but yeah the Rogan <laughs> one was weird man like but he's kind of like he's kind of like how people in uh, describe michael jackson he's like he speaks about his girlfriend as his lady friend he do, he's just like and joe rogan's like oh your girlfriend and he's like no 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 she's my lady friend and he's like maybe one day i'll put a i'll put a seed in her and he's like really like he's really like creeping. It's just like you're forty years it's, old and you're like you're talking about like putting a seed in your girlfriend like you would fucking. It's, <laughs> it's, yeah, it sounds like a, an awkward thirteen year old that's still year like that's still an eight year old in his mind. Or yeah, that. And then it's like it, we're it, like sh- shut up, Michael. We're in uh, Macaulay. We're in we're in senior school now, man. You're acting like you're in junior school or something yeah. like that. It's like he's just. 20, he get... He's like he's two decades behind himself. Yeah. yeah, Joe Rogan's looking at him just like, what are you talking about, you little freak? <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I only invited you on here because you were in Home Alone. You did nothing else after that. No, he was hoping. Party you monster. know why? He was hoping <laughs> that he would go on Rogan and go, yes, it's all true. Michael did this. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. like Rogan what was it. waiting for. Like, that bombshell. Yeah. But it didn't come. And he's obviously sitting there thinking, fucking hell, I need to get high to get out of this. Yeah. What a terrible journalist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just the biggest podcast in the world. But so I I don't think, I think I'm siding with Ben with whether or not he did or didn't. Like, I don't, I, I, I think it sounds like quite a plausible idea that michael would would be smart enough to leave one clean if he actually diddled some diddlers you know he knew i think he knew how to like manipulate people and and get the right because the people he chose to allegedly molest and yeah lick lick their bum holes um (laughs) and look at their bum holes as he midnight climaxed Uh, oh yeah he used to like he used to like Jerking himself into little boys' bums, isn't he? Yeah. Fucking oh, weird. God, I know, so dark. Fuck, we're not monetized <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not monetized anyway. So, yeah. Or blacklisted uh, at least. What? Yes. Shadow Yet. band. Shadow we'll band. Be fine. Sorry. Oh. As long as we, as long as we deny that Q is real, then we're all right. Yeah. Q doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Who's Q? What? Q right. Q okay. So. Well, yeah. Okay. So. Q. I, I have no doubt that Q, as a person, as a as a whistle, not a whistleblower, but somebody who's like just sat in with all these people, I have no denial that that guy is real. It's the fucking followers. The followers are fucking mental. So I don't know what Q is. Like I'm 
I, I, I know that we've heard that we're doing. That we've said we're doing. We're going to be doing a deep dive on Q. We're not. And I'm no, excited for because it because. <laughs> <laughs> so what, right, I don't. I have no. There's no. Idea. There's no deep dive to do. Right. I, I'll give you the general premise. Sure. From what I've I, from what I've gathered, Q, who's assigned himself a letter as his name, could be multiple people, not multiple could individuals. It could Trump. be multiple people. It could be Donald Trump. You know, he's he's the biggest troll in the world. Yeah. Right. And he looks like one. Like imagine like fucking grab grabbing his hair and sticking a fucking yeah, yeah. diamond in his belly button. Uh, the, um, if crossing a bridge, I would expect him to ask me to pay him, sort of thing. Oh, Definitely. I meant so, one of those ones that you got you free with air toes. Oh right! <laughs> you know, the, you grab their hair yeah, and they're just yeah, like, yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, it goes on this, or he or she or them goes on this on a 4chan forum, which used to be like 4chan, and now it's gone to 8chan, which used to be some awful deep state fucking deep web, like where you could yeah. buy ev everything, like you could yeah. buy children's skin, which is fucking weird. Um, yeah, and he goes on there and he writes, he writes some cryptic shit about two days before it happens. So he's obviously been, right. he's obviously just okay. been in the scenario. But yeah. it's not that, that's not even the issue. It's the fucking people who follow him. They just make shit up. They're just like, if you read this, what Q's saying, it's got three numbers in it. If you add those three numbers together and divide it by the amount of letters that are in the whole forum, it spells out um, John Podesta's, check out John Podesta's emails, uh, you'll be in for a shock. And everyone's like, does it say that? I don't think it does. Like, yeah. And they're all just like, what? no, it just actually says John Podesta is going to get arrested. That's all. It says it in the fucking thing. And they're like, no, no. It says it says Donald Trump in two days' time is going to say that John Podesta is going to do it. And it's just like, you're insane. You're all insane. And they all argue with each other. So they're just <laughs> arguing their own causes. So all, And it's basically, from what I gathered from when Praying Medic was on... Um, oh, God. Does, those conspiracy guys. I believe guys. in angels. Yeah, and it's Q. all great up until he goes, well, I've had a close relationship uh, with God for the last three years. And, I, and he's just like, you've had a close relationship with God? And he's like, yeah, he comes to me in my dreams and tells me that... Um, he just gives it, he like, I, I, oh, no. It, oh, two, two hours, two hours of like what you feel is legitimacy. And then he just goes, yeah, I've got a close relationship with God and I'm, I'm, oh. I believe I'm a guardian, I'm a guardian angel. Oh, all right. <laughs> and then he's just like, <laughs> yeah. and then it's like, it's half an hour of him just kind of going, aye. Uh, oh, you like it? Right. Well, it's really nice to speak to you. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, trying, to, trying to get him to fuck off. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like awful. Cousin, I, li I listened to it the other day. Because I really, <laughs> yeah. I enjoy, I was enjoying it because it's kind of like, it was silly and he was like, going, I, I've, with, there's so many things you need to decipher. There's a code. There's this. The, we got the calendar, the Q calendar, the Q code. And then he goes, <laughs> and then the angels that come to me in my dreams. You're like, uh, oh. <laughs> I thought you were going to be like, I've got the Q calendar, I've got the Q mug, I've got the Q hat. I got the, I, I went to QAnon and got this shitty t-shirt. I went on 4chan and all I got was children's skin and really bad deciphering. And I love angels. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I have a close relationship with God, like we're on first first term, first name we're terms. Bezzy mates. Proper oh, fucking crazy. idiot. So, like, but he's one of the biggest, he's one of the big ones. Like yeah. he's the, he, off, he's a, they? He's what? Twitter. They're all getting kicked off Twitter, anyone that's yeah. Q. Yeah. And the problem is that everyone's jumping on it. So even the ones who I were like, those guys are le like legit. Like I thought that Tommy Patriot guy was pretty legit. And then he's oh, now like, him. yeah, he's the guy who posted all the stuff about, um, he was Tommy G Patriot. Uh, I can't he was remember what it was. Guy. Wayfair guy, wasn't he? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, so yes. now he's joining in. I'm just like, oh, I feel like we've just wasted six episodes on <laughs> wasting our time on shitty people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's apart from the, you know, apart from all the ones that we'd actually, you know, th that yeah. fucking guy. They're all, everyone, all of them are just jumping on board of it. And it's just like, yeah, yeah. I find that's oh, the problem with, with our jobs, which this is <laughs> our job. The industry we're in as conspiracy theorists or satirists, I think, is what we'd say we are. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, the information we're getting is often just what someone thinks and then they yeah. write it down and then it gets pushed through. Loads of people read it and more and more people read it. More people put it out and share it. Like we do, We're we part of that chain. Yes, it of course. Yeah, we're real. part of the machine. It becomes real, but it could... 
like this Q thing could purely just be some bloke like that John um, John Titor, the tra time traveler. He used to post oh. on forums like, going, I'm yeah. from the year 2013, 2023. <laughs> I don't know who this guy is. That fucking knobhead. <laughs> yeah. It feels to me he's just another John Titor, but this one they're like, well, we could probably get away with this by just being well, yeah. really cryptic about things that are probably going to happen. Really, yeah, and really loose on certain things, and we'll just let everyone else put the put like the, the missing blocks together to yeah. form something. Just because yeah, they're then, looking for it, right? Yeah, and I get that's it, what yeah. they are all looking for. The, the people that believe in Q and the people that follow Q and they think Q is going to change the world, they're just people that want to know more than everyone else or want to feel like they know more. Right. And, yes. And, and yeah. make themselves feel important. Where and and like if not. the day yeah if the day ever comes that the shroud is dropped, they'll be like, I, I I'm responsible. I did that. It was me. Yeah. 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 Or when yeah. It, yeah. when it when it turns. Out I, I mean, that's what we'll be saying. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just be like, uh, yeah, it was all of us collectively. We yeah. as a three did it. it was yeah. like, there we go. Oh, here we go. Acting. See the aliens. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> oh, amazing. It's like walk, walking back up. So so yeah, us us going on to Q is probably not a thing, is it? I think I've lost. I just, I've just lost interest in it. it. To me, it just feels like a, a like an American thing that we're just too, not too. It's they, they. There's so many people in America, and they're so like pulled apart. And we are here, but they need something to kind of like make them feel right. Like we voted Trump in, and we're right because of Q. Like they're trying yeah, to find okay, a reason yeah, yeah. to like they're like to justify what they maybe they. They they always having second thoughts about their vote, and they need right, something to kind of they're creating justify. this thing to yeah, 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 validation, yeah, yeah, to yeah, validate, yeah. yeah justify mm. what they did. If they go well, actually he's out in all these nonces and like. So, <laughs> I think is, is Q on Twitch or anything like that? Like oh sorry, Twitter, yeah. So, so apparently apparently now the main the main Q is on Twitter. So uh, do but we know I, I, what his handle is or? Fucking, hopefully it's just Q. Like, if he's such a fucking big deal, like, if he ain't got a blue tick next to his name, I don't give a fuck who he is. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm called Q because my name's Quentin. I actually work <laughs> in the, uh, I work Quentin as a, a janitor in the White House. <laughs> and uh, Donald Trump was rambling in the toilet once and he said that all the paedophiles are going to come out and they're all going to stuff children in lockers. Imagine if it was <laughs> though. <laughs> all right. Imagine if the leak was some. It was. It was real. That's that's the oh, other thing. It's like if you think of it. That's like, hilarious. Just, we're just thinking like, okay, it's it is what it is. It's just someone making shit up, and then it luckily it's so loose that you could tie things to it and make it right. But what? I fully it's believe that. I fully real. believe that Q's Q's real. You think? I fully Q's believe real? that. Yeah, I believe that it is uh, like a. I, I do. I, too. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't. I don't think Q is bullshit. I think all these people making shit up about what they've like three lines of text. Like, I don't deny that there's a guy called Q on a website oh, yeah, writing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, did you see where on on those conspiracy guys where he went? Oh no, he's he's everyone's taking it the wrong way when he said there was going to be ten days of darkness. He was like, I'm just going to go on a 10 day vacation. Like, I'm just not going to be on the forums anymore. Whereas in all the Q guys are like, the internet's going to go down and the banks are going to close. And, he and there's going to be no like, energy. He meant radio silence. Yeah. And he's just, uh, he's just like, I'm just not going to be on the internet for 10 days, guys. I'm having some work done on my house. Um, <laughs> AT&T have see... cut me off. Yeah. I just want to see like places that, that Q has posted to see what he says. and. So he... I think... One of them is QAnon.pub. Okay. And that shows you him, does it? Yeah, so turn on your search oh, yes, thing. I don't a, know if, you, if you're using there. like Duck Duck. There's like a website where somebody oh, is like yeah. th thrown oh, them yeah, off. Yeah, that, they talked about this guy talked about it, didn't he? He was like, he, he yeah. shows all of them. But he also talks oh, yeah, about so the fact that he speaks to God. Got like, yeah, QAnon.pub. It's loads of, loads of drops basically of Q posting on 4chan and shit. Yeah. I see. I so see. this this is how this is how cryptic it gets, Dean. Right. So he described it like this. He went in in one post. He will ask the question, uh, like a, like not a rhetorical question, but a uh, 
he'll make a statement but with a question mark at the end, you know, like the woman on Fall of Cabal. Yeah. And yeah, there yeah. was aliens in the cupboards. Like, he'll do that. <laughs> and then he'll write a question after it that is a, quite obviously a yes or a no. So yeah. this, this is the way he described it. He went, he'll say it, he'll make a statement and then the next question would be, are unicorns real question mark? So apparently that answers the last question. So that's how crypt that's how cryptic it is. That's how much of a cipher. That's how intelligent you have to be to work that out. You just go, Fuck right. Hell. So there's there's one question, and then the second question is, are unicorns real? The answer is no. So the answer is no to the first question. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. I've solved Bullshit. the riddle. The new Batman Sorry. film might as well not even come out if the main bad guy is as good a riddler as Q is. Because it would be <laughs> fucking it'd be a quick fucking film. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Wasn't wasn't there something recent about Boris Johnson posing in front of a bookshelf and it had like a load of books and everyone? Yeah, I remember seeing in the replies was like Q was right. I was like, I didn't read it because I was like, yeah. this is this saw. is going to be a stretch. Right. He's yeah. in front of a bookcase and yeah. did you see how many books there were? I think coincidentally so, I think the one of those librarian or whoever was in charge of like setting up that set had put some books on there that were kind of a bit of a nod to. The Tories being useless, so they oh, were like, right. So they, so they, they were like, I don't know, like 1984 things like that. Oh uh, like, yeah, okay. And so like some, disaster. Yeah. And it's like, pretty cool. Big like. Yeah, I think that's pretty dope. Yeah, like. Some, some has anyone checked whether they're actually photoshopped in there yet? Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> the blood harvest isn't in there, that's is it? it. Yeah, <laughs> just, that the one. <laughs> <laughs> just, just sandwiched in between Boris Johnson's head. You've just got blood harvest and Mein Kampf. Oh, whatever, whatever that's the fuck. A, that must be yeah. like a, an intern at fucking Waterstone. It was Fahrenheit 451, <laughs> The Twits, The Resistance, uh, Betrayed. The Twits! <laughs> the Twits! By Roald Dahl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he looks like one of them, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah. The illustrated version there, of um, one. But the um, librarians obviously come under fire. She said mm. she didn't do it to go at <laughs> Boris, she did it to She's go been to suicided. <laughs> She did it to get to the school. Uh, the subtle knife. Um, right and rock. <laughs> she, she needs a fucking psychological analysis by the sounds of things. <laughs> <laughs> I just did it to get at the school, like. I got nothing against Boris. I bloody love Boy, Boris. He's not a twit. He's not a twit. <laughs> I just ate my school. I just want a pay rise. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. I, I thought it was brilliant. Oh, I thought it was a really good joke, and it, you know, but she obviously. Well, it she, made she, the news, it was trending. Yeah, she's probably like the she's coolest back, guy on the street. She, she's gone. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for Boris. I didn't mean to do it. That's fucking hilarious. People like, can't get on Jeremy yeah. Kyle anymore, can they? So <laughs> she's just like trying to find new ways to get famous. Like, yeah. what can I do? I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> I could I could put like my favourite books behind Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson. Fahrenheit 451 and the I Twits. <laughs> and the Twits. <laughs> I'd love it if they were the two like ends of the spectrum. <laughs> Fahrenheit 451, which sounds... Oh, Fahrenheit 451's about them burning the books, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, it's about the people who go and burn the books. Ah, I haven't seen that film yet. Someone said no. it was fantastic, but... I'm saying I haven't seen that film. I, I, obviously, I'm never going to read the book because so, I'm an so idiot. What, what, what conspiracy led us onto this? Like, wh was it Q? Yeah. Right, so like, just just the Q thing. So basically all Q is, is loads of people saying something's going to happen next week and then nothing happens. Right. Or okay. so... Or they they manage they like they go well actually what he really meant was and then find something in the news that is that kind of yeah is very nothing very like realistic. it yeah well it, yeah it's, it's got a C garbage. in it and a car went was in it so C car <laughs> they both got C's so oh my god he's got a scar oh. <laughs> if you put the S from four words before and then put that to car it says scar. <laughs> And Lion King and oh, yeah, it's what's for me. So, it's just mental. It's all a load of shit then. But I'm gonna read through these dumps of their posts just to see what they are. <laughs> like that is basically what they are. Is just a dump. It is a fucking a stupid. There was a YouTube. Nothing can stop what is coming. Nothing. World War G <laughs> One. W G I. Like that's, that's we we. 
Go as one. We go, go as, as one. We go as all. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So Thank all the queuing on, <laughs> and do you know what's even worse, right? So all this, <laughs> all this paedophile movement, and everyone marching in Hollywood and stuff. Great, that's fucking ace. Everyone wants to stop fucking child sex trafficking. All of the banners have we we g one we we g all oh, at the right. bottom. So it basically yeah. just like. All right, so you want to stop child paedophilia, but yeah, so you want to stop child sex trafficking, but you're also a fucking nut job. So yeah. you know, well, that's the problem. Just fuck off. The sex, tra the child trafficking thing. Um, it's just linked to anyone that talks about child trafficking that then gets <laughs> it seems to be a conspiracy theorist now. It's yeah. mental. Like anyone I know that, like what I said before, that everyone seems to be into conspiracies now because of this COVID thing, they're all trying to find yep. their thing out. Everyone that's posting about it now is like, Q is right, Q is right. It's like, what? what? <laughs> you know about Q? <laughs> this deep? It's so the, annoying because... Yeah. It, nobody, yeah, but nobody talks about 7-7 seven, seven bombings. Like, oh, we know who Q is. And it's like, 7-7? Seven, seven? There was a conspiracy for that? So we've had so many people, like so many of my like friends and like people who I've met through Tattoo and like inbox me about... Like specifically the seven seven one because they were just like didn't really? realize anything about it. Yeah, and to be fair, like even though we've deep dived like a few things, like I think that was the one where we actually we spent a bit of time with that one. Oh yeah, yeah, that was one. Like, of Like I mean, yeah. I deep dived the Paul McCartney one like my whole life, but I think it probably would have helped if I hadn't have deep dived a bottle of vodka before it as well. So that was <laughs> kind of, that kind of didn't help. But how many yeah, weeks so, you've been waiting to say that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this well, really funny thing about deep dives and vodka. Deep dive I need to and vodka. get it in there. <laughs> oh, it's just off the cuff, man. It's just off the cuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. Like loads of people I've been speaking to talking about that one because because um, again, like I said, uh, one of my friends was like, "Do you know what the uh, best line is?" Is like, "I know fuck all about this one" because I genuinely didn't know anything about yeah, it yeah. up until you guys said so. That's great to it's hear, good. though. That's yeah. really yeah. good to hear. From we your do buddies, need to. Though up our game with the uh, research <laughs> on the next one. Well, the re next one, future topics, didn't we say we were going to do Diana? I think it was the death of Diana, wasn't Diana it? Diana is yeah. the only one that I wanted to do. I, I think we all yeah, agreed on sure. that one because I someone think, put it in the Discord, I think the, if You are not British if you don't agree with the fact she was offed by the royal family. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Public execution, like, I think it was, yeah, wasn't it? I'm like, I, meet random, I meet random Americans like when I'm working on the golf course and stuff, and they... If they they go, oh, they'll be like, oh, you're British or oh, you're English. Do you love Diana? I'd say like, <laughs> I'd say like, four times out of ten, the questions will be, so do you think the royal family killed her? Like, <laughs> not even Amer like that's a general question to a British person you've never met before. That speaks volumes, in my opinion. Like, yeah. she did. She totally did. We will deep dive, but she totally did. I would. Well, is it? They all think. They all now starting to think. Yeah. The next episode, they Sorry, all think, uh, well, they're all starting, to, a lot of people are now starting to think that she knew a lot more about this whole royal family paedophilia thing than... Right, yeah, yeah. Um, and that would make sense. Which, which is now starting to make a lot Jimmy more Saddle. sense. I know yeah. that we were making fun of all, all celebrities were trying to do something about child sex trafficking, but I'm pretty sure I remember like, still linking with like the royal family and all of this paedophilia and stuff like that going on through elitism and and whatnot i'm still convinced that jill dando was murdered because she was going to put a hit piece it was yeah. jimmy savile yeah definite. it was jimmy savile and then it led to Everyone, parliament yeah. westminster yeah that's why she was killed like i've no, always because yeah they were like some random fan what no no but yeah no one was jill dando's fan Who's a, a fan of a journalist? Who's a fan of it? Yeah, exactly. A newsreader. Yeah. I mean, I love, I love a bit of Trevor McDonald, like, but fucking hell. <laughs> He's not out any pedos though. Or he'd be nah, true. He hasn't done a lot I for a while. I still think no. He does. Um, he did. Uh, he does like a serial killer thing. Yeah, it's serial uh, prison uh, uh, documentaries yeah. and stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. My wife was and randomly that... watching one. I was like, Trev. Trev! Yeah. All, all Trev. I remember is Trev from the, when he was on the 10 o'clock news and you'd be watching a film, you'd record a film the night before on ITV and yeah. you'd have to fast forward it and hope that the <laughs> tape didn't run out when the news that's was it, yeah. on. Because you <laughs> dun, 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 dun. hour long. 
You knew it was da, about da, half an hour long, da, didn't da. you? Yeah. Oh, I remember those days fondly. But yeah, we'll Four be uh, for listeners. We will be the definitely thing... doing a deep dive on Diana for certain. Yeah. Have you guys heard about the the paper trail of the Queen Mother? The what? No. So this really, really fucking long Jimmy Savile documentary I watch called like Jimmy Savile and the Seventh Circle. I've it talks that. about yeah. oh my god! What it is... talks about how the Queen Mother. So oh, I haven't I, I haven't looked at this enough, right? So I'm not. This is the theory. But this could probably be found out, like one of you guys could probably find it out right now, that Jersey is owned by the royal family. It's not owned yes. by Britain. And it's yeah. a place where they take all the children. It's where they t- bring the children. Yes, I've heard of that. Um, I've heard of that. And the Queen Mother was paying for Jimmy Savile to take two 44-seater buses down to Jersey <laughs> and then bring, bring kids back. And then these kids just went missing. And no, this was in like 71 or 72. And Jimmy no one goes, when, when's little Sheila coming back? <laughs> where's Daniel? Daniel? I, don't, I don't know why they've all got like Daniel. South End accents. <laughs> Jersey's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, a, a, bit, like, pet, a bit pet words. Yeah, there was kind a Jolly of. Boys out into <laughs> fucking Jersey and they never came back. Yeah, I've mm. heard of that though. I've absolutely but that's... heard of that. They, on this Jersey documentary, they show you the fucking, they show you like the bus charter. And this was way bef- this was way before this fucking Jeffrey Epstein thing. Uh, right. So Jersey police have so far recorded claims of abuse from a hundred people. The police investigate eighteen key subjects in a wider investigation, but the Attorney General stated in two thousand nine that a significant number of these complaints were unsuitable for the criminal courts. Blah blah blah. Uh, I, I don't know. It doesn't really That's say crazy. what it is. It's more the fact that the royal family own. Well, it's not even the royal family. The Queen Mother owns Jersey. Yeah, this rand like yeah. it's it's a private island, so it's yeah. Jersey is is hers. So now is it essentially the Queen's, I guess. That's so bonkers. Because essentially, if yeah, you own yeah. an island, because ah. Jeffrey Epstein only owned the land of the island, he didn't own the land. So yeah, he only yeah, yeah. He, he he like rented the island, whereas in the Queen owns the land. Like so, she essentially, I know she's the Queen, but she could make her own laws on that island. Well, of course, right. That's so um, bonkers. It's and it's. I'll just I'll find a I'll bed. find a link. It's it's, so I'm nice. sure it's called like Jimmy Savile in the Seventh Circle or something like that. Jimmy, oh, we should do that. Add that to the watch list. Oh, Cow. so listeners, God, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, Ben, introduce listeners it. of the podcast. As this is a relaxed fit episode, and um, we're not really got one major subject, we're going to make an announcement now that we once a month, I think are going to do a live stream on Twitch where all three of us sit and watch a documentary or film. Random documentary like, of anything like that. But everyone, based. of course, can get involved. And we'll watch it on Twitch. at the we'll, same time. We'll, we'll be streaming it so you guys can watch the stream and watch us as we watch it and get in the I'm chat. Excited. And we can... It should be a lot of fun, and it means that we yeah. can do an episode where everyone is involved rather than you just listen to us ramble on about paedophiles and cupboards. <laughs> and Because there's some really, really dog shit conspiracy so documentaries many. on Prime Videos. And, and you probably all the watched perf- them. <laughs> Most yeah, of them. I, I, you've I, never, there's no way you've ever watched them all, because literally, you know when it says, people who watch this, watch this. Once yeah. you get after the, past the third tier of that, whoa. It gets fucking dark. <laughs> it's just like, you literally, you go on. I think the first one comes up, it's like, secret societies and what they do. And then you go, all right, what do people who watch this watch? Oh, secret societies and what they do Two. in their spare time. <laughs> <laughs> secret societies go on holiday. It's like, Bo- it, gets, it just gets worse. <laughs> Is it just and they like, get longer and longer as well. Like, there's, one, there's a David Icke one on there. Sounds, it's like it seven sounds, hours long. It's, it's David Icke. Like, have you seen it? Have you seen no, it? I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> right at the um, end. I, he, he, invites, he invites this guy on stage. And he's fucking... <laughs> he gets this guy on stage. And he, everyone just gets up and they're all just like, whoa. And David Icke's there like, whoa. Like fucking clapping along, it's fucking mental, and it's Whoa. it's Wembley Stadium. It's yeah, like he does, it's a, it, he does. It's unbelievable. Stadium. Like, 
like oh my god but just the end like the end of it they're just literally everyone in the crowd's just like Wah! and they're all just clapping and it's like what the fuck and david ike's just like thank you and good night and then all this like these fucking people run on stage and start swinging their arms around and it's seven hours long <laughs> And so imagine it. <laughs> yeah, it's called. Uh, oh, hang on, just I, give me a second. I with David Icke, like I just I can't handle him. Like it's I, I have I, no time for him whatsoever. My thought is how the f- and this goes for like Alex Jones as well. How the fuck do you live every single day thinking that? Everything is a conspiracy. Well, with like Alex Jones, everything. I think like Alex Jones is playing up to the character that is Alex Jones. Do you think? Totally. Yeah. I think, and yeah. he's probably he, he's he's off his tits on coke all the time and like pissed up. I'm, and he's kind of retarded. Oh, it's not there retarded. anymore. I was going to say, I just try, I typed David Icke on there and I couldn't find it's, it. it. It's uh, David Icke. What, it's David Icke live at Wembley Arena. Yeah, well, he's been he's been thingied, hasn't he? He's been yeah. cut off of everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But um, that, um, David Icke, p- brand part new YouTube, one, is. there is literally four parts to it. What? Oh, my. So if you, if you can find if you can pa- find part four and go to the end, it is the best thing I've ever seen. Like, it, 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 it is basically like an evangelist church, but they're all worshipping David Icke. It's fucking weird. And it's funny as well. You know, remember when he first when he first went on TV? Not when he first oh. went on TV, but he, no. he's just been on TV uh, recently about how he, he, he needs everyone to know this. And Philip Schofield's just like, well, if you say you're not in it for the money and you need everyone to know this, why is it £120 a ticket? And he's like, well, it costs a lot of money to hire out Wembley. He was like... Could you have not done it somewhere else? He was like, Wembley's the only suitable venue. He had 700 people attend. Really? <laughs> yeah. A, a uh, hall at Wemba- Wembley Park. is the... <laughs> you can do... Centre Parks. You can do oh, it by the like fucking you working man's that. club. I'm watching... I'm watching... A, I'm watching the end of Awaken, the uh, Wembley Arena one. Oh, man. Just yeah, wait till... That, that is rammed. Wembley Arena Sheridan. is packed. That That's isn't busy. Sold out. That's just the ground. There's definitely, maybe not 700, but there's definitely not. That isn't sold out. That isn't Wembley. Compa- yeah, share that in the chat. All, all, the, cu- all the curtains are up, Ben. Like, there's no one in the stands. Mate, there's a live I mean, band I mean, come out. I wish I was there. Oh, is the live band on? Yes! <laughs> ben, share in the chat. On I'm going to put it in the, I'm one, of them's, the one of them's his son. Yeah, I'm gonna just listen try. Theory, so if people are listening to this, they <laughs> yeah, know what we're referencing. Oh, um, literally, no one's gonna watch yeah. our podcast again. David Icke for me is just too much. He, I can't, I can't even like. Oh my good lord! Handle it. Oh it's just too lord. much for me, man. I've just seen literally a second of that clip, and it looks like oh. something out of like The Wicker Man. All these people I've just, dancing around. I've just found it without all the shit at the beginning as well. I've got the full the full live band version. I, I think <laughs> the full live band version. David an Icke. Actual, an opera <sighs> an opera quintet play the life story of David Icke. It's so I reckon bad. it's David Icke is Tony, Tony Robbins, um, but on acid. Like Tony Robbins has taken too much acid and then he became Tony David Icke. Robbins. Yeah, I've I, I I remember seeing a documentary about <laughs> Love David Tribe. <laughs> oh my Christ. What's that? Is that with the that, video? That's the video. That's the, oh, that's the end. Watch. That's the end. I'm going to watch Love Tribe without the audio. Just one. Love Tribe. Christ. Music section. I really, I really hope it's as mental as I remember because oh, I just remember sat in bed and just laughing my head off. Because uh, David Icke's v- like... Poorly vfx picture of like a full moon over a... Oh... Oh, I like That's the intro. Bad. I feel really bad because obviously David Icke's got really <laughs> bad arthritis. But he's just like, he's just like, and then he just it sort looks of like floats off. Kanye West Sunday service, but for white this, people. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. It just see him wobbling around with his like his belt done up stupid tight. Just have a and he's just a balloon up a torso. Just... <laughs> Oh, and he's running around like a dad at a disco. It's like so cringe. You know, like it looks like the whitest thing ever. 
Have you ever been to a comedy set where the comedian guy never gets any laughs and then he feels like he just has to keep going until he does? Yeah. That's what yeah. that feels like. It feels like these people have paid £700 for these tickets or whatever they are, £120 for these tickets, and they're not impressed. So what should they do? He's like, right, we're going to have to pull out the big guns now. Bring out the love tribe. <laughs> no, I, yeah, that's I it. genuinely love think tribe. that Come quick. for love these people, <laughs> either they love love tribe or it's like ruined the perfect night out, like the perfect day. They've gone, oh, he's spoken the truth. We got the truth, David. You are God. And then he's, here's, my, here's love tribe. Here's love tribe. And I, oh. It's quite, kind of like the Guardian Angel stuff on there. <laughs> I believe yeah. in God as well. Oh, really? Ugh. I remember seeing a documentary, I think it was on like Channel 5 years ago, and I think it was called like, Was David Icke Right? No. And they did that. <laughs> yeah, right now. Wrong. Throughout the documentary, it kind of never really asks or even answers the question. It's kind of just like, is this really weird guy? For like an, an hour and a bit. He was just, a goalkeeper. Yeah. Now oh, he's a well, mentalist. He's, 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 there's like a clip where he's watching watching his son play. I think like wherever. Oh no, he lives on the Isle of Wight, or he's playing for like the Isle of Wight reserves or something like that. And he just, I don't know. He just doesn't look like he, the documentary. Just doesn't. The referee's yeah. a reptilian. The referee's a reptilian. <laughs> the documentary just doesn't really say anything, and I was kind of a bit like. What the fuck? Why are that? Why are you give? Why who made this? Because he was definitely to... drinking from the same water bottle as fucking Derek Akara, wasn't he? Oh, without they, doubt. They, they, the they played on the same team, didn't they? Oh, I don't did know. They both, I did they, they both play for Leeds? Both play for Leeds. The Coventry, I think it was Coventry. It? Yeah, Coventry. Oh, did yeah, they both Coventry's... play for Coventry? Yeah, mate. Well, maybe. I didn't even know. Obviously, Derek Akara is like. Well, yeah, because he definitely can't fucking speak to ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> Mary yeah, loves Dick. Mary loves Dick. Oh, did you what? ever see the episode where he's whoa, like, whoa, 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 he whoa. gets possessed by a chimp? What an idiot! Derek, no. Did you know? He's like, Derek, I've got Derek a little hairy man dead. here. Derek Carr is dead. Yeah, he is. Where did he I'm die? Oh, one for Derek. Oh, bye, homie. Sam. Most Sam. Mm. Sam. Sam. Most, most haunted forever. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, because most haunted. Shouldn't have even been on television, let alone the worst television channel ever. Um, so Living ten, ten, ten seasons of a woman who who should not be on TV either, being followed by <laughs> a guy feeling. who shouldn't be allowed around medium. people. And her husband yeah. was like the the camera op or something, wasn't he? I think he was a producer. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's the producer. Yeah, of course. And she, was. all she kept going was like, "Oh, someone's touched my bum." I was like, "You're surrounded by a oh, crew of men." <laughs> yeah. oh. With cable. With cables hanging oh. everywhere, like oh, yeah. Uh, oh, they they came to the pub I used to work at. Oh, we did. Shit! Right, we need to we need to maybe do a little uh, do a little bit of filming one time. I know it's difficult for you, Dee, because you live in America. Just but, get me on Facetime. You know, I was telling you about that. You know, I was telling you about that thingy with Jig next to the pub I used to work at. That oh, weird yeah. like mirage thing. So yeah. I spoke to somebody else about it, and they know what I'm talking about. They've been told about it. And it's all the time. So it's there all the time. So you so can explain it, to some of the listeners that might have missed this. So Mary Pickett's yard, apparently when the sun's hits a certain part of the, through the buildings, you can see like a weird heat signature. Yeah. yeah. But there's nothing there. So you what? it's not, it's not like heat coming from anywhere. No one, no one really knows how to explain it. Explain it. Yeah. Someone vaping. Oh. So yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so someone it's, else uh, has seen it then, like, or experienced it. Well, no, apparently all the ghost tales in York tell you about it. So whether whether they just tell you about it and you're like, I can't see it. You know, like <laughs> like David Icke tells you things and like, oh, well, I can't yeah, see yeah. them, David. Yeah. Um, but they're there. But yeah. But yeah. another thing as well, even though we're, we're kind of not really talking about anything, and it's kind of a bit strange. Have you seen that the new Call of Duty is highly based on conspiracies? Yeah. It's all the stuff behind... The Cold War, yeah. obviously, oh, yeah, yeah. but there's, there's no, loads there's of stuff no in there. Ronald Reagan's in it. It's like, yeah, mm. yeah. there's really no strange. doubt that conspiracy theories and true crime and all that is is it's really popular right now. Like, yeah, we absolutely. move your mic up a bit, Ben. We would have done this podcast. <laughs> we <laughs> wouldn't be doing this podcast if it wasn't popular. Right. No, it's very true. It seems, it, and and like you've got 
platforms like Twitter and YouTube that are actually doing, they're going out of their way to create algorithms and implementations on their platform where you can, it will, if there's something that's displayed, even Facebook, sorry, are doing it. If someone posts something that's about a particular topic that is very conspiracy, uh, conspiracy-fied, then they, they put like links at the bottom, like fact check sources. Yeah. So, you saying it's suddenly very popular. It's it's becoming a norm on like these humongous platforms. So it's like it's always there. The problem is, the problem is now though that, that I find, and it's the same as you know we were talking about how the word conspiracy was came out after the Cold War yes, to basically okay. to basically just tell everyone if it's not in line with what we're saying it is, it's a conspiracy. Yeah. The problem is with this fact checking thing. It's, it's putting it in the hands of people. But how many people are going to be like... Most people are just be like, oh, I just want to watch it for entertainment. They're not going to be like, I fucking hate Not Another Conspiracy Podcast. I'm going to fact check all of it. And then just like... <laughs> don't. No you, one's gonna, no don't one's gonna fact check do- any of it, please. No, <laughs> please, don't. <laughs> please don't fact check to checkers. We're, we're wrong. We're lying. <laughs> we don't know we're lying. We don't even know each other. <laughs> um, but the problem is, like, somebody somewhere is probably employed just to go around and look at, like, they're going to just look at us and be like, uh, no, it's false. <laughs> like, don't believe it. Don't believe a word they're saying. You know, <laughs> it's like, I mean, for, for instance, our attire, like, <laughs> I'm wearing a hat that says fuck off, a T-shirt that says snot. You've got to eat dirt. <laughs> And I can't, I can't see what Make a blockbuster saying. night. <laughs> Make exactly. it a blockbuster night. <laughs> exactly. They're just going to be like, these guys are fucking idiots. Like, constantly <laughs> talking shit. That one's got not another conspiracy with ends backwards. Like, <laughs> this he one thinks he's in spell. corn. <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's in corn. <laughs> oh, God. Another, uh, another child molested person there. Mm. Yeah. I heard. Uh, but he did got- his dad give him HIV? No, I heard that he got his uncle to rape him again recently so they can make a good album. <laughs> he obviously didn't, didn't do work. it well enough. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Did he just put the tip in? Oh. Oh, that's, a cor- that's a corn joke for any of you kids out there. Somebody's like, I've got a corn t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> like, that's it. I got it on Depop. I didn't realise it was I a fan. The I, there's definitely theory. Chord fans in our Discord. What in our other Discord. listener theories have we got? Uh, I'm gonna have a oh, there's some fucking classic. Bigfoot, um, you know, just throwing that out there. Bigfoot, yeah. <laughs> Let's have a quick, quick thought on Bigfoot. What does everyone think? Well, I, um, I, I remember watching a documentary of the Joe Rogan when he had Les, Les Strauss, I think his name yes, was. Yes, the um, Joe Rogan questions everything. Well, no, yes. that episode. It oh, was, right. I've seen that. It was, it, this was when Joe Rogan's podcast was on, I think they call it, it used to be called Justin TV, didn't it? Yeah, Twitch, yeah, Twitch. When yeah. They bought it. But it was it was when he used to, do, it was obviously, it weren't the actual episode at that point. I watched like a rehash or like a re-upload of it. And that that wilderness dude, uh, Les Strauss, like if anyone's curious who he is, I think that's how you pronounce his surname. Yeah, he's yeah, a yeah. survivalist, basically. And he's he isn't just any normal survivalist. He's like top top fucking draw he throws himself into the wilderness for like several weeks just for training and stuff like that but they got onto the topic of bigfoot and joe it was years ago where joe was obviously kind of like open and just I believed it, nuts it yeah. about it and believed it but then Les, Str- Les strauss was the only person that i've heard talk about bigfoot and not sound like a nutcase because he had he had sat there and said that he had travelled all over the world and stayed in various different um, climates and wildernesses and this, that, the other. And he's like, I've, I've heard, I've heard like wild monkeys. I've heard wild everything. He's like, I've heard things that I haven't been able to explain. But he said when he he was filming um, some survivalist like finding big like a finding Bigfoot uh, documentary. And he got into a bit of controversy about it because everyone was like, you fucking sold out, dude. Like, you were a proper serious, kind of like Bear Grylls <laughs> sort of stuff. And um, who was the other dude that was a survivalist from the UK? Ray Mears. Ray That's Mears. it, like Ray Mears. And then he did this, but he was talking to Joe about this time that he had heard something in 
like not in this while he was doing the documentary just years back that he hadn't been able to explain and he but he said it sounded what should sound like a, a, a an ape of somewhat he says but where i was there was fucking they're nothing like apes living there like they don't live in the client can't remember where he was but he was then getting on to joe rogan saying people sit there and say if bigfoots existed we would find why don't we find their remains and he sat well he sat there and said this he was like it's it is a good question and he was like but then he sat there and said there are this many brown bears or black bears in this particular wilderness he was like there are thousands of them and he was like i have been across these forests for miles i've covered every single inch of ground and he was like I have never, ever, ever seen the remains of a bear. And yet we know how pop populated they are, like, in these areas. And Joe Rogan was kind of taken back, and he was like, Les Strauss, like, actual expert survivalist, are you saying Bigfoot's real? And he was like, I'm not saying he's real. I'm saying it's a possibility that there is, in fact, some form of ape that we haven't discovered yet that could be living in those wildernesses and that the the theory of we haven't found their remains is shit because if something dies in that forest the forest takes it like everything in that forest is going to consume the remains of something including bones and i was like fucking hell that actually kind of like everything else he was saying i was like it doesn't actually sound like a fucking nutcase he actually sounds like plausible he sounds genuine but I don't understand. Funny. I don't understand why anyone wouldn't think that there was something like that. Like well, to me, it's to just be. like, yeah. There's. Have you seen that? Like for instance, that statistic about the ocean. Like right, we just yeah. what we've we've searched like twenty percent of the ocean. It's not even that. Is it's like five percent. It's like yeah. there's gonna be shit down there that we haven't discovered. Well, there was. Of course, you know, there's, there's, same as the forest. Found, there is. There was a humanoid creature that was that size called a Gigantopithecus. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what's to say that there isn't. The, uh, a few surviving numbers or, of them or it or it is extinct but there was a bigfoot right why well, yeah we don't know it could have recently like when that famous bigfoot footage was shot with like the famous one where he's walking along swinging oh. his arms <laughs> what the the video of a man in a in gorilla a, in costume a, but what i'm saying is, is <laughs> you mean that one? You mean after that, one? that they then became extinct See, I, with that piece of footage, I've had. Oh, I've it's heard a bloke so... in a monkey suit. <laughs> right, but then some people are sitting there saying that you can see the bounce of the thighs, right, on the video when you when his feet are hitting the floor, you can see the bounce of the thigh muscles, like when it's impacting the floor. And I, I remember seeing it on Reddit. It might have been our conspiracy, and I was like, "Oh, fucking really?" And I looked at the video and I was like, "Fucking hell, you actually can!" Like someone had stabilized it and. Uh, zoomed into the area and is that the Patterson footage that's yeah that kind of sounds familiar yeah but they yeah if anyone wants to try and look that up that's listening to it there's like and that evidence came out not too long ago um, I'm gonna you look can for see it now, the legs it yeah you can have a look. you can see the legs impacting the floor and the like the fire muscles on on the creature sort of moving if that was some a lot of people are saying if that the fact that that could possibly be a man in a suit it's a really good suit for like back then. Mm. I mean, I mean that. that uh, like, right. I, I, I'm watching the the original and the stabilized footage now, and I'm going to tell yeah. you what I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> firstly, it's a man in a gorilla suit. <laughs> <laughs> but the man's just got really good thighs. Yeah, he's just, yeah, it's just really a fat big. bloke. He's just jungle, right. jungling around. Right. I mean, I, I, the thing is with that, like, people look at you fucking mental when you say about Bigfoot, but I'm just like, it's probably the, out, out of all the shit we talk about, it's probably the most plausible one. Well, yeah. Like, right. you know, like, even, I think it even comes before it, aliens, no, it, like. It's definitely, it's just a bloke in a tight fitting monkey suit. Sorry, guys. Oh. <clears throat> now let's zoom, oh, this... now let's zoom and stabilize. Didn't, so much um... shit in this day and age, like, somebody would say, like, a hundred years ago about some of the shit that exists now, you'd just be like, nah, that never existed. You'd be like, no, mm, yeah. No. Yeah, it's like, like for instance, it's, I, I think it's the same as, like, what's the animal? That, 
like maybe that specific thing but like what what animals now are like nearly extinct like where there's like less than 100 like so in 50 years time there'll be like a probably a quarter of that yeah. and then like you'll be like oh well, i haven't seen a lion so they don't exist like you know i've, I've probably seen like one lion yeah. in my whole life at a zoo like yeah. you know I you don't walk around and see him there like woo! i saw two um two white uh white tigers at um a las vegas zoo in dallas <laughs> No, no, a uh, uh, zoo in Houston, <laughs> Houston, yeah. Texas. They so were eating did you its magician. See cougars when you're in LA? Mountain no. lions? No, oh. <laughs> no, no, definitely didn't. Definitely didn't. Not what? Okay. Mountain lions. Mountain oh lions. right, I, I thought you, I thought you were talking oh, about. I yeah. saw some cougars. <laughs> I weren't in LA that late, that late at night. Sorry. <laughs> But yeah, Bigfoot, I think it's a possibility. I genuinely believe. Most of the evidence that's out there is the biggest, is the almost like king dick of shit evidence. Like all of these shows and these experts just are like talking all shit. But that yeah. Les Strauss guy, that particular Joe Rogan clip, I'll try and find it and also put it in the uh, Discord now. Yeah. But that to me sounded like a person that was looking at it in pure logic. And I trust a, I trust a guy who hangs around in fucking forests more than I trust, uh, you know, the, yeah. the average guy who's like the... Bigfoot is real, Bigfoot is real. Like, yeah. why does that guy care? Why survivors. does the guy care? He's, yeah, yeah. All he's bothered about is fucking immigrants. He's just like <laughs> Bigfoot is real. They're coming to take our jobs. Bigfoot is real. Like, Bigfoot right, took yeah, my job. He's <laughs> uh, yeah, a bloody get... brilliant bricklayer because he's eight foot tall. Three, the, uh, three bricks in one hand. I'll get the video and I'll whack it in. Um, I'll whack it in the Discord. Uh, I'm just looking through to see if we've missed anything that people have spoken about. Uh, there are people. Some people in Discord want to know what conspiracies got us into conspiracy theories. I think we've had this chat before. Yeah, that right? sounds good. Uh, we probably have amongst ourselves, but we haven't, I guess, discussed it like this. Uh, well, I think the obvious uh, one is like 9/11, probably. 9/11. Yeah, that's. Because it was the like, first like public Christ. one. It, yeah. Yeah, I mean... So my... Um, excuse me. My first ever one, I think, would uh, was... Um, it was blatantly the John F. Kennedy killing. I remember my aunt got me a book. I've, I've actually got it here somewhere in, amongst all of my boxes in, these, in this basement. But it was a book called the book... Uh, the Encyclopedia of the Unexplained. And I got that when I was like... What, 11 12 or something like that i remember and it was mainly full of like ghosts ufos and stuff like that but there was that particular one where i where it was real and it was like whoa like that's a real person that got shot and everybody thinks that the government did it whereas obviously everything else in it was like photograph of a ghost uh photograph of a ufo there wasn't like a real person being hurt Bullshit. or something and i think i have this book I think this is, thing. you've actually just reminded me though, because I had said it, to Ben is immediately. Is it like volume one? Is it like, this, it's like about this Have you thick. got it there with you, Ben? I've got it in my loft. I found and, it and in, the, a, I found <laughs> it at the park, like one about the, three months ago. And that one of the pictures is this big black thing underneath the sea, like underneath I've the boat. I've not seen that. I've not looked for it all completely yet. I've I just haven't. Right. I've got it. So. I've got it here. I have. I. It's like a magazine I was gonna, kind of thing. I was going to say 9-11. Oh, no, I've got... No. Yeah, mine was... Is the front cover, like, somebody... Uh, <laughs> do you know what's fucking hilarious? And I've only just figured this out. Not figured it out in my head, but... You know, there's those pictures, like, them long exposure pictures, and it looks like someone's, like, spewing ectoplasm. Have you seen those? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've actually just found out recently that, and I can't believe it's fooled me for so long, that it's just someone putting a tablecloth in their mouth. <laughs> what the oh, I, yeah. I genuinely, genuinely thought it was like some unexplained phenomenon, but it is literally just somebody with like a tablecloth in their mouth. Yeah. And they've just like grabbed, grabbed an old camera and done a long exposure. So it looks like it's a bit blurry. So yeah. anyway. This I sorry, yeah, go on. I, know the one you mean, I posted yeah. the book. I posted the book in the. Uh, I want to see if it's the oh, same mate. one. By it's, Ruben oh Stone. man, I'll... I love it. It's such. Oh, a maybe book. it's maybe it's not that one. But yeah, did that was, have it, did that have human combustion in it and stuff? Yes, it did, and it had the woman and, and like next an to old woman. Yeah, this is the book. So yeah, when I was gonna, I was gonna say nine eleven, and then you've just reminded me of that book. It was human yeah. combustion that got me into it because I was yeah, like, how was that woman having a shit? And then the next thing, she's on fire and her legs have burnt off. No, her body's burnt off and her legs... 
And but yeah, then I found out. Down the road. No, that's it. And there's loads. There's like a guy lying in bed and his like arms and legs are still there, but that's the it. hole in the mattress is. That's yeah, it. it's just completely yeah. burnt out. But yeah, and that's the same book. Yep. Do you, what do you think about human spontaneous human combustion? Do you believe in it? Well, they've, they've debunked it, haven't they? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So, yeah, so that apparently it's so what happens is when you die, your body creates like loads of gas and shit, and then and then it ignites or it can be ignited. Right. So it's what rare what happens though. is yeah, most people are just like, oh, that person just set on fire while having a shit. But when in fact they've been they've been dead on the toilet for like five days and then they've exploded, <laughs> oh, right. yeah, and then they've right, like okay. right, oh okay, just like the but tablecloth yeah, in the incredible. mouth. <laughs> and I think I think it was it was um yeah, but but it was John F. Kennedy and me being like that's real life, like that's a real thing. I'm surprised it wasn't the human combustion, but I think it was because it was a physical picture of a human. It's a, s- a small kind of- chapter though, is it? Because it's got his it's got his autopsy picture in that. Yes, yes where his head. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I remember yeah. looking at it when I was like, right, this because I used to fucking me and my mate, my cousin Ben used to pretend we were in a DeLorean underneath the the dining table, and we used to throw <laughs> book throw books out as hoverboards. I mean, I was like fucking four or five or something. And I just <laughs> I was, remember... I like 25, 26. I just <laughs> remember taking this book out and it like, when I threw it, the fucking page opened and then I just seen something yeah. like, what the fuck is that? That's and then just brain. being obsessed with the macabre, just like, yep. oh my God. And I think that must... And it is that book. And my mum had fucking hundreds of them. Yeah, like, I love that book. I've, I've your dreams book. and what they mean and shit like that. Just like, and, there's, and there's also... Um, in inside there, I remember vividly this picture of a, a a small rock like that has somehow moved on its own across the desert. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and it's, oh, and it's, they, oh, they, yeah, take, they take they take a one. picture of it, and, and then it's because really... there's rising rising tides, isn't there? And it moved, and then it That's comes, it. yeah, and the tides drop. Yeah, they do explain. And the picture, <laughs> I remember the picture being over two pages, and it's like one page is just a trail of sand. And then on the other page, it's like all the way to this like little rock in the I've just, distance. I've just, I've literally just bought that book on Amazon for two ninety nine. It's you got it in your loft, it, and, it's, <laughs> and it's pretty thick as well. Yeah, I've got the. I think I've got the updated version because it's got a slightly cooler front cover. Oh, oh uh, no. it, you've got to have the blue one, man. I can't nah, believe I even to... Googled Googled that blue and found one. it. Considering how many books that are probably gonna... called the Encyclopedia of the I just got the same one as you by Ruben Stone, so I've just got it. I put, um, can... put a link to it in the uh, Discord if anyone else wants to buy that book. But yeah, good, no, good shout, man. Nice one. Um, keeping with what conspiracy got me into this whole thing, like I've, I've been lucky enough to actually go to Dealey Plaza and the, the area of where Kennedy was shot. Like when I got the when I got the word that I was working in Dallas, I immediately Googled where um, the hotel was that we were staying and where the convention hall was. All I had to do was just get myself a little Uber scooter or whatever. Three blocks down, I was actually there at the books school book depository building, and it had like the mark on the floor, two marks yeah. obviously, the two X's where he was shot, and that area. It's it's. It's really eerie. I just found it eerie yeah. anyway. The fact that this huge, huge global catastrophe, well, this catastrophe occurred that obviously ah. changed the world. Like, right there and then. And it's such a small area, too, which is quite remarkable. And you can go up to the, um, I think they call it the sixth floor museum or seventh yeah. floor, whatever floor the Oswald book was on. Yeah. It was a, yeah. a, the repository place, wasn't yeah. it? So, yeah, the have book, you... school book depository, yeah. Have any of you listened to the last podcast on the left's um, deep dive into the JFK assassination? Uh, it's no, a but I've heard about it's it. Absolutely amazing. And at the end, they kind of go, well, and this is what we think possibly happened. Like, yeah. And they, like, they go through it. And I don't really want to spoil it for you, but what they say pretty much happened is so good. Like, It's like the best payoff. Like, and I, need, yeah, I need and to check that out. It's not last like, podcast sa- on the left. Yeah, and it's yeah. They, did a, they did like four part, I think, on JFK. Yeah, and it's like There's, two and a half hours each episode. Yeah, it's There's so a very good. good. There is also a very good documentary that has a very good, um, not uh, legacy. Not a, a very well, no, not a very popular sort of or, or a well-known theory, but it was they actually speak to a guy that's in prison in like Germany or something like that, and he was with a group of people who were hired or he claims he was 
with a group of people that were hired to kill Kennedy, but he yeah, couldn't seen it. divulge their names. He was waiting for someone to possibly die because he was like, I can't say shit at the minute because even though I'm like in prison for life for something else, um, he's like, you, like if I would, why would, what would be the point in me talking this shit if I'm already behind bars and I'm still in fear of yeah. dying? He was like, and so, it was so like believable. Well. It's really good. There's, it's really yeah. good that one. Theirs is um, completely different to that. Um, basically, oh, oh the, okay. The, theirs is so the, it's well documented that the Secret Service went on the lash the night before that. Yes. Yeah, this so, is, so this is it, <laughs> right? They because Oswald was apparently not trying to kill the president. He was trying to kill the governor who was sitting yeah. next to um, the president because he had a problem with the governor like of Dallas, of te Texas. Yes, yeah. He didn't have a problem with the president. Right? He had a problem with the governor. Because weren't they trying to find him for something anyway? He was in and out of trouble with the, Pelos, he, he, like the he'd police. Been tried, he'd been trying to defect to Russia. Mm. He was a communist. And he was trying to defect to Russia, but Russia wouldn't have him. They're like, yeah. no, nah, we don't want you. So he was trying to get to Ru he was trying to defect to Russia. So, but no, they, he was always like on the radar. But they all just thought he was a nobody. So right. they think he tried to kill. He was trying to kill the, the the governor of Texas. Accidentally shot the president. <laughs> the hungover Secret Service um, guy <laughs> went to pull his gun out. Oh, tripped and, shot him and from shot, behind. Yeah, and shot the president. And that yeah. is what they think is hap what happened because it, yeah. it all lines up as that's where the bullet came from. Because they because said the that, bullet come from the that, floor. That last one with the guy that dropped the M14 or whatever and went and yeah. shot his head. That that's that's a theory in a documentary, another documentary or a book. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, I can't remember book, what it is, but I've yeah, I've heard of that one. But I it's on the uh, it's on the third tier of uh, people who watched. <laughs> Legacy by JFK. If you if you go if you go down, actually like a tribe of clowns come out and one of them was juggling uh, machine guns and like when he grabbed it it blew the president's head off. Oh. If you look if you look at the two hundred and forty nine frame you can see his shoes just poking into the camera lens. Uh, the umbrella man as well isn't there? There's loads of theories on it. <laughs> the yeah, umbrella the, man. Babushka, the babushka lady that's like the penguin. The penguin. <laughs> 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 Oh, fucking and hell. that's as well what's interesting is a lot of the people in that era would be all like ah oh, she kennedy's just been shot who the fuck oswald cobblepot oswald cobblepot the third well he does like meddling with those mafia kids can't yeah, she there's so many weird ones with that though like i feel i feel that the 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 jfk one is something really deep that no one will ever find out like it was yeah, weird that marilyn, marilyn monroe was like dead as well like and she was uh, banging jack him ruby. and jack Ru oh uh, talking about mk well, jack... ultra they all think jack ruby was involved with that too. yeah so jack ruby... well they, they, they think it's what's his name was brainwashed it's linked, man. <laughs> they thought um what was the guy who was supposedly shot jfk called again um, uh, lee, harvey lee harvey oswald, oswald. yeah they reckon he was because he was like can't remember anything don't remember don't remember i'm a doing patsy it. i'm a patsy yeah and his yeah. mom's like shock it was a patsy <laughs> <laughs> yeah but he like, legged it he apparently shot a copper as well on the, when he legged it yeah when he was going to the cinema or movie theater or some yeah or whatever but i still think it's quite weird that like jack ruby just shot him and then like died in prison like granted and he could yeah. have died in prison from cancer like they said but it was just it just felt a bit kind of oh look a dude that's really linked with the mafia and also owns like clubs and bars and shit yeah there and allegedly had a problem with Kennedy as well, just happens to shoot him randomly, like before he can go to trial well, and shit. Like, yeah. it, one again, of the, it's, it's one all of the very convenient. Of conspiracies. Yeah. One of the big things with JFK though, that he was like one of the presidents who was doing great things for the country, right? I, from what I remember, but he was just a bit of a, just a bit of love, a jack the lad. Love nobbing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So like, he was trying to like pass loads of monetary stuff to do with like giving the soldiers like free food and free yeah. like paycheck when they, which was obviously going to cost the government millions. Ex yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, and they, they wanted to pull out of Vietnam. I mean, we've yeah, we've talked yeah. about this, haven't we? About how they believe that QAnon is JFK Jr. and he's not actually dead. 
Yeah. Oh, fucking well, man. he died in mysterious circumstances. They never found. He was in a pl- helicopter crash, wasn't he? Mm. Was it a helicopter was? crash? I don't know. JF- yeah. JFK Junior. JFK Junior. Yeah. So they reckon they reckon this big like the big set because they. There's a lot of like nods to religion with this Q thing. They reckon like there's a second coming and blah blah blah. And they reckon it is gonna be like JFK Jr. <laughs> and everyone would be like, and the Q would just be like, and we would like to introduce JFK uh-huh. Jr. And everyone yeah, would just be like, him. who the fuck's he? It's just a guy like, with a pair of glasses on and moustache and nose. Yeah. Ah, I've been hitting in plain sight all along. Yeah, because um, <laughs> had you from they- the beginning. There's it's a, actually Britney Spears. Every, uh, every Trump rally, aren't they? Or something like that. That look, that they've done like, look, you can see this is JFK Jr. and his wife. Yeah. Like, if we just, they do like the Paul McCartney thing where they put the two faces over the thing. and they. <laughs> the weird thing is, though, one of the things I don't understand about that, what you're talking about, Ben, is they always play it off like that they're just randomers in the audience. But when you see them, like demographically, they don't look the same. They don't, they don't aesthetically look the same. Like, one day, like the guy's wearing like a stripy rugby jersey, and then the next week he's wearing like a a full blown suit, but he's in like what is in the East Coast, and then he's in the West Coast. Like, does he really just follow him around that much? Because they're all pla- you know, you said they were planted, Dean. They're all like, yes, yeah, they're yeah. all this like because apparently they plant a few black people in there just to show that he's not a racist, and you know, a couple of me- couple of Mexicans <laughs> and whatnot. Like, but it's always the same ones. Like, I think they're just like, surely they're just like target practice for if they miss you know yeah. you don't actually hit you a real audience you. member yeah you know like if they shoot shoot trump you just blame it or like oh these guys were dressed up actually they were just shills it was yeah. just wrong so yeah i know we're still going but have you you if we talked about the um trump we have only trump being a time traveler or his uncle being having <laughs> teslas no stuff. We... No, what? we so... are. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck. Oh, so uh, this is so, my so favorite you... thing I've heard. Oh Trump shit! Is a time traveler. Just to no. interrupt quickly, sorry. Um, somebody wanted us to do an episode on Matt Groening, but this ties in with the Trump thing. Yeah. So when Nikola Tesla was, I think, arrested and killed or killed. I thought John he Trump. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't killed. He died. He just, yeah, he right. died in a hotel. So room when Nick, there, Nikola Tesla died, right? His all his research, all his papers, all his work was given to someone. John Trump, J- Donald Trump's uncle. Yeah. Right. Okay. So they think they. I don't know who they are, but people. Right, yeah. Q Q and not. Q and not. Think <laughs> that. Donald Trump's uncle is now a time traveler and he's been traveling through time helping donald with his campaign and to avoid assassination attempts changed my mind Where the f- how are we seven episodes in and that's the first time you've mentioned that to me that's the most well, it never came up amaz- <laughs> it's so good amazing conspiracy i've ever heard that's incredible but how did anybody come to that conclusion Right, okay, so John Trump was called in. John Trump was called in to analyse Tesla's work. So he wasn't necessarily given it by Tesla. He was analysing it. So it was his job to understand what was going on with it. So... Fucking what? It would would be good to understand where, what John Trump did before... Right, so he was... He was noted for developing rotational radiation therapy, um, which had to deal with a lot of X-ray Time generators. So quite he a lot. He invented yeah. this flux capacitor. Yeah, I mean, again, if you saw him, just uh, you. I don't have any technology to put that on the screen, but you yeah, would definitely be saying. Pad as well. He was selling kids in in. Oh yeah, uh, yeah In metal he looks, cupboards. He yeah. Looks like John Podesta's best mate. Like, yeah, but he has got a really cracking pair of amber visions on. <laughs> right. So, this so the time traveling theory links back to a couple of science fiction books written by Lockwood Ingersoll in the 1890s. The books are called Travelers: Travels and Adventures of Little Baron Trump. Yes. Ah, yes. And this his is where the Q people... Baron Trump's marvelous underground journey and the last president. Yeah. 
Q, no. yes, baby! No. Yeah. <laughs> Q, baby, Q. No Q, way baby. That that's suggesting that Baron, who we are looking at, will be right the last now, president. Yeah. But then, so I've heard this, but then someone said he named him Baron after that book. But I was right. just like, what? that is. Because cause there's all these crazy Q people who are all just like, they're all like, they've listed all of the Trump family in order of like the presidency. But then there's some people who have listed it as Trump, and it's like Baron Trump, and then it's like 2028 infinite. Like it's just he's gonna be president forever. So, yeah, they've just picked. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna be a president then. What? Well, but because they, they, they say he's a fucking genius, don't they? Yeah. They say he's like a little nerd. For well, example, yeah, I think he plays right. Minecraft or something, doesn't he? Or didn't he? In like the video, he's sitting there like randomly dabbing, and Melania's like, "Stop what you're doing!" And she looks away, and he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like you shouldn't be at an inauguration you should be at home playing minecraft you weird little oh guys. my god so maybe that's what donald trump's trying to do maybe he's just trying to like clear everything out clean because he's always talking about cleaning some fucking swamp Drains like maybe he's, the swamp. Right. yeah and he's just he's just trying to make it good for his son who's just like complete nerd but he's like got no social skills at all he's probably just gonna be like come out and get like presidency and he'll just point at stuff and it'll just set on fire or whatever <laughs> You know, like, like Damien, yeah. <laughs> He's <just> like, <laughs> ah, ah, people. <laughs> That's insane. That is shit. It's, people could. The they, truth. They, <laughs> oh my god, he's a time traveler. I can't it's fucking get past truth. that. The truth. Right. But, but, like, so they just assume that President Trump's great uncle had received these documents from nikola tesla after he died Which... and it just happened to have oh. Oh, by the way is this one that i had it's called time machine might want to give that a crack after i do like portal time portal that yeah, or baron trump projector yeah he's got I mean... connections with uh hillary clinton as well of course of course so I, i'm just reading an article here nikola tesla's uh surprising connection to donald trump and hillary clinton has he linked to Willie Ag? Oh, mate, oh everyone's linked is... to her. She's probably killed someone related to him. It's also. Can we clear this up? Is it Nicola or Nicholas? Nicholas. Because... Nicola. I, I read it oh, different Nicola, everywhere. Nicola. Yeah. Nikola yeah. Tesla. Right. But yeah. Oh my well, God! See, time, I've travel tra time traveling president. How about that? Well, his uncle. But yeah, apparently well, that's uncle. why. There's not been an assassination attempt because it's been thwarted by time travel. Um, just another, just another quick doozy. Um, the government are unwilling to release files um, by Nikola Tesla uh, because, let's say, if anybody found, sorry, if anybody found, let's say, the death ray that Nikola Tesla was working on for the last years of his life, the <laughs> death ray. <laughs> Oh yeah! No, I think I, I want to travel that. through time. No, I don't. I want to fucking build a death ray. Or the freaking laser beam. Freaking lasers! I think I remember wow. hearing about that. Like it was going to be built on top of a tower, and it this was Trump That's Tower. Going on my list Maybe it's going to be built there. Nikola Tesla is definitely going on my list of episodes I want to do. Yeah, we could do that. Absolutely, I'd I'd love to have a little dive on that. Um, so My if, uncle used to tell me about nuclear before nuclear was nuclear. Trump said, said in that? one interview, Donald Trump. He said, "This is it. Hey, this uncle, is Donald Trump." He used to say nuclear long before nuclear was nuclear. He's the greatest yeah, uncle. It. I'm, I'm the most radio. I'm, if there's no one more radioactive than me, it's... I'm the most radioactive. <laughs> That's most why he's radioactive fucking man. orange. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally been <laughs> hanging around death rays for too long. <laughs> so i think we've been, oh, we're man. up to like nearly two hours uh yeah i, I think that's are we no an hour and a half maybe an hour and a half an hour and a half but an hour and a half with anyway. no real actual um plan <laughs> i think it's pretty good yeah we're not doing we haven't done too bad <laughs> we've, we've covered a lot of conspiracies and yeah. hopefully that's kept you interested for the last hour and a half um next episode i think I think we all agree. Deep dive on Diana. Yes, absolutely. Prince princess of our hearts. The pre people's princess. The, 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 the people's princess. The people's <laughs> princess. 
But yeah, we'll do definitely a deep dive Diana. on that because that's. I personally still think I I think the Diana case is just it should just be just as big as 9/11, in my opinion, because yep. there's so much wrong. It's with as it. it's as clean cut as 9/11. Right. Yes. And, well, yeah. Perfect. Right. It's and it's I think um we, we were probably too young at the time for when it happened for it to mm. kind of notice that a lot of people were like questioning it. But yeah, when I've li listened to podcasts and watched documentary on it. It was like everyone was like, "Well, she was killed." Like, like just yeah. everyone, was, everyone, no matter if they were a conspiracy or not, were like, "Well, the Queen had her killed." Like, it was well, just it's like I've mentioned this before. I've I've mentioned it to Ben that I'd say four out of ten Americans that I meet, obviously here in America, that are like, "Oh, you're British, you're you're English." Four out of ten times, they will ask. So do you think the royal family killed her? And that will be their words. Like that, it's yeah. almost like it's some sort of form of, like, it's the royal family uh, had a peasant marry into the family. She Meghan wasn't a peasant Mark, though. <laughs> Meg, well, no, she weren't. But you know, like, Mega Mark. She lived blah, blah, on the blah. grounds. It's so it's like their little history thing with it. It's Diana, Meghan Markle now, or is that her name, Meghan Merkel, or whatever? Merkel. I don't know what her name is, and. Did they kill her? Like it's almost yeah. like they are free staple facts that people over here recognise about the royal family. Yeah, and that Di Prince Andrew can't sweat. Oh, he can't. I can't sweat. <laughs> we, we're royal. Well, it we couldn't have been me because I can't sweat. So, yeah. So, yeah. But I, it wasn't me. I can't sweat. So, so I did not touch that chair. I was and in then, Pizza Express anyway, so I couldn't have done it. And I don't swear. What a chance. <laughs> like, the fact he sits there and says, "Like we're royals, we don't hug." Oh. There's this, just this picture of you with your arm around a girl. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, don't sweat. It wasn't like that. It wasn't like that trick. You know that trick you do when you're at school and you go like this. It wasn't like that, was it? There's definitely just something like... not right about him mentally, though. Like you could tell by the way he was talking and the way he was, there was something like who the he's... fuck con who convinced him to do that interview. If like, you're gonna lie, do don't lie that you can't sweat. That's like bullshit. It's like yeah, if you're gonna say like gonna say? I can't so come, ask... like just say that I can't come. Yeah. Like don't when say they I ask can't you... sweat. Because they obviously the, all those questions would have been signed <laughs> off by the by the royal press <laughs> team. Like the royal right. press team would have gone, right, okay, yeah, you can ask those questions, and they would have prepared answers to them. At no point is a press agent gonna go just say here where it says yeah. picture of you in a sweaty sweating in a nightclub. Where it says that, just say you can't sweat. Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and then uh, just got, say, just say you can't sweat, right? And they then got they, a big they chunk of dub, double-sided tape, and they're like, "Here's your get out ones, Andrew." And he's like, well, "What? <laughs> just, just read these. Just sell a tape them to the inside of his sleeve." So I say, she said you sweat a lot. Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't sweat. Even <laughs> even in his panic, really it's all his all his answers are just like sweating off his hand, just like um, I don't sweat. I promise, it says here. Mention, no, that doesn't say I mention, said don't sweat. sweat. He just said don't mention sweat, and he's yeah, don't sweat. Okay, don't sweat. Because I don't think DNA test. Oh, uh, <laughs> what, what a mental, what a mental thing nonce. to say. What a nonce. <laughs> Absolute nonce. And he's like, I love that he's like going, I've, I've, I've not denied that I'll go to the, talk to the FBI. I, I have. I've always said that I'll talk to them. Like, well, then why are they saying that you're not cooperating? And then, and then like, a month later, headlines, FBI can't get a hold of Prince Andrew. He's not picking up. <laughs> he's going straight to voicemail all the time. Yeah. I am cooperating. They're just not calling me when I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> it's always from an unknown caller. It's always like unknown caller. Like, oh, I don't answer unknown callers. Right. That guy. Well, he's, he's, so his best he's probably mate actually got Jeff a pager, hasn't he? His best mate was Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> and he's he right. still uses facts. And Charlie's facts. best mate was Jimmy Savile. It was. Yeah. It was. Coincidence? Coinky dink? No. Whatever coincidence is. I don't sweat. Is. I don't sweat. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't sweat. sweat. But oh, fucking. Jimmy. Just ask my mate Jimmy. I don't sweat. It's just like, no one cares about it now. Like, it's just like, it's like Tiger King. No one gives a fuck about Tiger King yeah, anymore. It happened, happened for a week and that. Uh, oh, have you heard Prince Andrew's a paedophile? Yeah, I don't care because uh, kids are in lockers. Have you heard kids are in lockers? Yeah, I don't care because UFOs are real. You heard about that's UFOs? It. I don't care. Black Panther's dead. Like, that's, that's it. it. No, no, one, yeah. no one's bothered. Yeah. One, 
one of the biggest, the best actors of our generation, apparently. I've, only, I've never even seen Black Panther. I haven't seen him in anything else. Not to speak <laughs> ill of the dead, but, like, people are just so quick. Like, they just don't care. Like, no one's just, bothered. Yeah, about it's the 24-hour yeah. news cycle. Just people just like, like, what's next? What next to hate? What's next to yeah. hate? Right, yeah. Yeah. It's, so it's trending this... on Twitter. It's fucking stupid, man. Stupid. Stupid. Keep, stupid. Keep, listen, stupid. Keep, keep getting into conspiracies and keep following the podcast because it's not stupid. That's not stupid. We're yeah, that's not stupid. Uh, but yeah, Diana and Tesla. Those are the. Those okay, are the well, not the, not together. They I don't think they had any connection at all. But so we'll um, do Diana next. Yeah, Diana yeah. Diana next, uh, and then obviously we'll organise this live stream. Watch a documentary with us thing. Um, Hell yeah. yes, we'll do that. But the next yeah, so next episode, Diana. Uh, anything anyone wants to add before we sign off? Apart from go to OG Sax. .co.uk NAC, there we go. 20%. O G S O C K S. I don't spell it right. C K S. O G S O 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 C K S. O
Because yeah. he's like, he just drives, he's just drives right. around LA re- really fast. He's like, <laughs> I'll be able to drive like, faster the if there's no going. traffic. Do you know what? Traffic doesn't <laughs> matter if you're driving 190 miles an hour. <laughs> you just go <laughs> through it. <laughs> just drive yeah. right. Oh, I'm dead. I can't believe nobody said that Ryan Dunn was directing a movie about child uh, sex trafficking well, before I saw he a thing slammed be- into a tree. Before I came on the podcast, uh, Ashton Kutcher has given up acting to fight child trafficking. Yes, but he's been doing it for years. Yeah, he's been doing it for quite a long time. And he's sleeping with Mark Kunis, so... He's not doing a documentary about it, and that's why he's still alive. Is that the connection? Mark Kunis is the connection. Ah, Macaulay Culkin! Macaulay Ah. Culkin! Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, oh, so make sure you're Ashton following Kutcher going from... not another conspiracy <laughs> on Instagram <laughs> and not another con on Twitter and please 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 sign up to our Discord anything go. else before I go sign no, off I think we're all good Jeffrey Epson didn't kill himself he didn't kill himself man oh, oh, I can't wait till she gets the trial can't wait. <laughs> she won't get it. We're going right. to have like months of fucking podcasts like back to oh, back. It's going to be content on content on content on content. Thanks for listening. Anyway, yeah. See you later. Bye. 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 What happens? Just when it comes to it. In the, the, the thing. Oh, maybe they did. Oh. <laughs> so in the back, there is a light brown. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 We're not the fire.